I'm John Gregg, your certified financial planner with APSAdvisor.com. Today we're going to talk about the five biggest investing mistakes you can make while in the stock market. These all have to do with the field of study called behavioral finance, and it really plays on why you make decisions from an emotional standpoint. The first one is herd mentality bias. And it's kind of what it sounds like, right? You're going with the herd. And this is innate in us. It goes back to the caveman days. So when somebody's running from a predator, you run too. And so what this says is that when the market's going down, a lot of times people panic, they'll panic sell, and then the market will go back up and they'll miss some important um, positive days. This works on the flip side too, right? We just saw this in 2021 where people were buying in these crazy high valued uh, young tech companies and all of a sudden interest rates went up a little bit and they came crashing down. So it works both ways. This isn't a one way street. The other one is overconfidence bias. And again, a lot of these are intuitive, right? But overconfidence bias happens when you think you know everything, right? All these big banks and trading companies know so much. They know everything that's going on. So you having this um, flamboyant um, thought that you know more than they do is just a little ridiculous, right? You can't be overconfident, right? Make sure that you're smart, you're doing your research, and you're making the investment for the right decision. The third is recency bias, and this goes to show that information that you've gotten from recent past events weigh much heavier than things that happened a long time ago. So if you recently in the past six months are in some type of industry that was hit really hard, maybe from COVID, and you're just feeling down, you're going to have a much more pessimistic view on the stock market outlook than say if you were a real estate agent who has been doing great and you know everything's selling right now and prices are going up. So that has a big um, effect on the decisions that you're gonna make. So you need to make sure that you're not looking at the small picture, that you're looking further out and taking, again, everything into consideration. Number four is action bias. and. This is another one of those uh, things that are kind of innate in you where if a lot's happening, you feel like you have to do something, right? If you're not doing anything, then you're missing out. So if the market's going down, you feel like there's something you should be doing when in reality, not doing anything is the best thing, right? Or maybe the market's shooting to the moon. You feel like, oh my gosh, I need to find the next big stock. Well, again, that could be the wrong thing. Just because you're not doing anything doesn't mean you're doing the wrong thing necessarily. And then the last part is availability bias. So if you're going to your, you know, wherever you hang out with your friends, right? Maybe the local club or whatever it is, and you're talking to all your friends about something specific, you know, within your social media network, it is throwing you all the same news channels and and the exact same outlets, you have an extreme bias on the amount of information that you're receiving. And so if you're playing off just that information, then there's a very good chance that you're, again, this is all about taking the whole picture into consideration. You're not taking that whole picture. So make sure that when you're, you know, to wrap it all up, make sure that you are making the decision because you have done your research and this is the time that you want to do it, not because there's some emotional trigger or emotional response that you feel is making you make this decision. If you avoid those and just go for the long haul, invest wisely in good companies, you're going to do great.